morning guys, welcome back. So uh, we're in focus. Three, two, one, click. Right, so as you know, you haven't seen a video from me for what, three weeks, four weeks maybe, something like that. Uh, basically, I haven't had anything to brew. I've had no videos to put out, as I said before. I didn't really be doing videos, which are uh, shit, basically. So, I'm back with you. On a brewing video, which you can probably see that pan out a little bit of steam up there. Steaming. So, what are we doing? <clears throat> right, well, all the times I've been brewing, I've been meaning to do a brew of my own where it's been all my own ingredients. Well, not ingredients, but my own recipe, shall I say. But I've just never quite had the uh, confidence, shall I say, to do it until obviously like well now basically uh as I say I've been meant to want to been wanting to do it for a long time but as I say I did a bit of a uh, way up uh, yesterday of uh, the grain see what I had and uh basically I had enough wheat malt uh well enough base malts to do a brew so I've decided to put a brew together today and it is gonna be well it is it's 1.4 kilo of extra pale crushed malt which I've left um, it's three kilo of toasted wheat malt and 600 grams of Munich malt uh, and for hops I am going for Magnum I can't remember what the hop additions was for that uh, in grams obviously uh, but no it's going to be Magnum Hops um, and I should be looking at roughly about I think it was 38 IBUs uh, I put the recipe together on Brewfather um, and I should be looking at as well roughly about 4.9% but we'll see it's, it's experimental brew it could be one of the best brews I've ever made. It could be crap, I don't know. But, and brews all about experimenting, and uh, I do love a good experiment, so uh, there's only one way to find out how it's gonna work out. That is basically just brew it. So, uh, by the point you guys have been well anyway. Uh, I've been a bit full up with cold the last couple of days. I wasn't actually gonna brew today. Uh, but, the reason I haven't really been brewing, I'll be honest, is because I've, I've not had anything in uh, and I just haven't really had the time. I've been busy with work, my wife's back at work now, uh, she works 12 hour nights in the care room because I haven't had anything in. Uh, when it's come to the weekends, there's a lot of you guys will probably know, you'll probably respect it, is I've just wanted to, I've been wanting to spend time with the wife, uh, basically. Because uh, you know what it's like, you're both busy with work, you know, you've, it's, it's one of those. But uh, now, I've stuck work tonight, I've got enough stuff to make a beer, so I'm going to give it a go, let's <laughs> see what we get. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned, guys, for a little bit more uh, brewer footage. I've got a couple of beers to see me through, uh, I've got a bit of company from Fleetwood Mac. A little bit of music in the back, which I haven't put on at the minute because of copyright stuff on YouTube. But stay tuned, guys. Uh, there'll be a little bit more brewing footage coming, probably. But uh, stick around for the uh, for the end, and uh, we'll see what kind of style beer it's going to be and what it tastes like. So uh, yeah, keep watching, guys. Pour a beer and enjoy. Okay, guys. So we're going in for the recirculation, and that is the colour. Of the uh, of the brew, so by the time it's done, it should be like dark to light amber, maybe. Uh, but we'll see, uh, see how it clears out. But uh, now I'm gonna do the uh, bit of recirculating and uh, yeah, we'll get it ready for a quick uh, squeeze of the bag, get what sugars in that, how we can, and uh, get it boiling. So, uh, gonna be here. So, uh, carry on watching. Cheers, guys. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, guys, 
just squeezing all the, uh, the sugars through. Well, draining the bag, rinsing it. It's gonna let uh, as much as the water come. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do in a couple of minutes, after I've let a lot of that come out, give it a little squeeze, I will rinse some water through the, uh, the grain, as I usually do. Obviously to get the sugars out and that. Uh, basically like a bit of a sparge, but it's it's not quite the same way as you would with a sparge. But uh, no, I've got some, got some water in the pan here. So I'll be putting some of that in the jug, give a rinse over, and then we'll take a pre-boil gravity. And then, uh, yeah, be on our way, get up to boiling, and uh, start getting them hops in there. So, uh, yeah, stick around, stay tuned for uh, a little bit more footage. So, uh, yeah, cheers, guys. Oh, uh, Karen enjoying this pint of ruin. <laughs> cheers. So, there we are, guys. Time to do a little bit of a, a rinse. Uh, the colour on this is coming out pretty nice. Uh, it is quite a darkish colour. It's like, I don't know what it's gonna, what style to put it under to be honest when it's done. Uh, could be like a new uh, beer, who knows? But uh, no, I'll, uh, I reckon it's gonna be an interesting one to be honest. But uh, yeah, stick around, stay tuned. Uh, I won't have too much into this. Uh, I'm gonna have to taste the video on to the end. There'll just be a little bit of footage coming up. Maybe adding the hops a little bit, but don't make it too samey, just to what I normally do. So, uh, but yeah, stick around, and I, I might just, the next bit after this might just be, I don't know, a little bit fudgy in there. Yeah. And then uh, tasting video at the end. So, uh, stick around. Go and enjoy the video. Cheers. Right, guys, so I've just done a quick uh, pre bowl gravity. There's the colour. So once that's cleared out, I reckon that's going to be nice, like a nice straw to go in colour. But looking at about 1034 pre boiled gravity. So, and I'm sure the actual gravity original is supposed to be about 1040 something. I'm going to have to double check, but I'll tell you all anyway, um, actually in the video. Uh, but now, stay tuned uh, just for a little bit more footage and for the taste at the end, as I said. <laughs> But yeah, just watching guys, keep on. Right, here we go guys, this is 21 grams of Magnum going in at the start of boil. So, I am actually going to do a half an hour boil on this one. Uh, I normally do 60 minutes, but I'm just going to do a half an hour boil. Uh, so that'll go in now, uh, and then I'll add some more in 15 minutes, and then the rest of the flame out. So, uh, keep watching. Here we go with, here we go guys, this is 10 grams going in at uh, 15 minutes so there we go that's 10 grams and there'll be another 10 grams going in in another 15 minutes and that'll be the end of the boil uh, and I think we're looking at about I'd say about 20 21 litres possibly by the end which isn't too bad in bad going so I stay tuned guys and uh, keep watching for the rest cheers so we go guys, this is the last 10 grams of Magnum going in at uh, Flame Out. I'm going to probably leave these now for uh, 15, I'm going to say 15 minute uh, hop stand and then it will go straight into the fermenter 
uh, to cool uh, and then I'll take an original gravity in the morning um, and then pitch the eastern because it's just sitting in a cold bath of water now well after the 15 minutes is up and then uh, yeah we'll let the ferment fermentation get underway and then uh, yeah we'll see what we've got at the end of uh, next week hopefully so it might hopefully it might only take a week but I might do a little tasting maybe Monday night or something just see what kind of uh, flavours we've got going on um, and then uh, we'll see for the taste test so cheers for watching guys and uh, stick around for the tasting Three, two, one. <clears throat> well welcome back to another video which is a continue on from uh, the footage what you've just watched so we are back and uh, better than ever <laughs> so as you know the experimental brew you've seen some of the brew footage they want a massive amount in there but i thought i'd just whack a little bit in just to spice the video up a little bit so uh i'll just pour one off um i'm gonna get it actually don't want to waste any drips so that is it it is fresh off the hand pull it's cloudy do you know what i mean i'm not expecting too much but let's get in to the recipe in a second. I hope you are doing well anyway, as I have already mentioned in the beginning of the video. Uh, so yeah, I hope you are doing good, I hope you are still brewing, I hope you are still happy and all that, you know. But let's get into the recipe. I think I've already mentioned it before in the video, probably have, but I'll go over it all because I'll go over the rest. You know, grab tea and all that shit. Right, so it was three kilo of wheat. It was actually toasted wheat malt, which I think I mentioned in the video uh, in the other bit of footage. Uh, 1.4 kilo of extra pale malt, which I had left, and 600 grams of Munich. Uh, it was 21 grams of Magnum at 30 minutes. I ended up only doing a 30 minute boil. I was going to do an hour, um, but I was just like, well, you know, I'm only putting a small amount of grams in there, so I was like, I'll put it down to an half and I'll boil. That means I'm going to make too much of a difference. See, it was 21 grams at 30 minutes, 10 grams at 15 minutes, and another 10 grams of uh, flame out, all magnum. Uh, got a pre boil gravity of 1034, got an original gravity of 1044, final gravity of 1010, and it came out 4.4%. I actually put it in the fermenter on the 2nd of April, um, fermented out, was it 2nd? Yeah, I think it was Sunday the 2nd, uh, early hours of the morning, I pitched the yeast, the USO5 yeast, not USO5, not the male yeast, I pitched the yeast early hours and I noticed that it, it just proper took off, there was some rapid fermentation. Uh, it, the airlock was just proper going through it, like really, like, like <laughs> proper going. Um, and I think it was by what Tuesday, Wednesday, it was starting to slow down. Thursday it was pretty much just like the other little bubble. Uh, come yesterday morning, looked at the airlock, and the water was just basically I was sat now, really, just it was just level. So I looked and I was just like, I'll have a, I'll leave it for a bit. But there was just absolutely nothing there, so I was like, right, I'll get it sorted tonight. I've been on a forklift course for work all week, so I was like, you know, instead of coming home, being at work, coming home, being tired, and it's like, I can't be arsed. I've had technically a day off, so I just thought, Do you know what, I'll sort the beer out tonight. I put it on the hand pull, it was just easy and quick, just before I get, before I get my keg. So I was just like, right. Get it in a bag, a couple of bags, get it on the ampoule. I've got to be there till I brew again. So, I'm not expecting any kind of miracles with this or to be the best beer ever, but let's say that's the colour. So, it is like an orangey kind of colour. I'd say it's fresh off the ampoule. I've literally just put it in the bag, so I'm not expecting it to be clear, but I'm not expecting it to clear out too much just because the wheat malt has gone into it and the amount that's gone into it. I'm expecting that kind of cloudiness to it. So if it don't if it don't go, I'm I'm not too fuss, I'd say. But uh 
going for the aroma, but it's got a nice little one finger head, nice little white creamy head. I've had a bit of cold all week, still trying to get over it, so. <clears throat> right, clear the nasal passages. Right. So I'm not getting a massive amount through the, uh, through the head. You get a very slight little sort of weak kind of aroma, but we're going for the taste anyway. Cheers. So straight away, you pick up this, uh, it's smooth. There's no harsh bitterness, there's nothing biting you and that's why I wanted to go a bit more sort of lighter on the Magnum because with it being a bitter and hot I didn't want to go too hard uh, but you get that wheat, wheaty flavour but it's, you can tell it's that toasted wheat malt it, you're picking up a lot of that sort of toasted kind of notes in there You do pick up a sort of a subtle earthy, earthy kind of notes, but like I say there's a lot of weakness in there. It's not the most flavourful beer. Uh, not something I'd send out because it being an experimental brew, I thought if I was putting it on the bag, um, obviously if it is bad. I'm not going to bottle it, promise people that you know, I'll be like, and be like, right, I'll send you a bottle out. I'll try it tonight. All right. right. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, it's, uh, so it's a nice little weakness there, slight touch of the hops, fairly smooth with the tongue. But yeah, it's, it's just that, it's, it's balanced, it's balanced enough, but yeah, I'm fairly happy with that, for an experimental brew, I'd say, I think it's lack of confidence making my own recipes and then going, them going wrong, I can't really complain too much of that, I've gone light on the hops, uh, I haven't gone too overboard, but 3 kilo of wheat malt, possibly a little bit too much. But, say it was a user up it's an experimental, experimental brew, so if I had to pick a style for it, I'd, I'd say it's close to a wheat malt, a, a wheat beer, but it's not as such. So, I'm just going to keep it keep it as an experimental brew. Uh, but yeah, it's not bad, so say I've got a couple of bags to get through, it'll do till I get my keg. So, so yeah, 4.4%. In session of all, yeah, that's not bad. Can't really complain. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I will be back in a couple of weeks, probably. Uh, I'll probably want to get my keg, probably do a video on that or something. I'll say, um, but do stick around. Uh, if you haven't, obviously, if you're new to the channel, stick around. Uh, but yeah, to keep an eye out for more videos, there'll be some more coming soon. You haven't been as often, but should hopefully be soon. Like I say, just been so busy with work and like I say, be cold and all that. That's, that's not really helped with doing videos, tasting wise. I haven't lost my taste or smell or anything, it's just, you know what it's like. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy that. Uh, if you like the video, like. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next video, whenever that may be, but do stick around. So, uh, cheers again for watching guys, cheers for sticking around, still being there, and uh, I will catch you on the next one. So, keep brewing, keep drinking, be merry, be happy, and just, yeah. Cheers. too bad if I say so myself. <laughs> right, see you next time guys. Take it easy. Cheers.